What's going on guys? Today we got another rapid disc review for you. We're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Castoplast Nord. You guys can see I got it in this first run plastic. Super beautiful K1 plastic, feels really, really good. Numbers on this bad boy are 5403. So to compare, I brought out a Buzz OS 5403, same numbers there. Also brought out a Pyro, which is a 5402, I'm pretty sure. Currently right now, I bagged a Pyro. Um, it's really nice, overstable mid-range, but sometimes it can go a little straight. Sometimes I wish it had a little bit more stability. So I'm hoping that this Nord might be a little bit beefier. We'll see. Got a little bit of wind out here today, so it should be a nice day for it. Okay, I'm going to throw the Buzz OS first, and then Pyro, and then the Nord. Yeah, nice and overstable. Threw it a little low, but it's pretty much what you'd what you'd expect from a Buzz. Buzz OS, that is. Let's throw this Pyro out there. Yeah, the Pyro's got a good bit of glide. I feel like before it actually dumps. It does dump though, very, very nice. The Buzz kind of stayed flying on Heiser. It was like still flying and went left, whereas the uh, Pyro kind of dumped, was a little bit nose up and higher. So that probably has something to do with it. Let's see if we can't throw this Nord a little bit better than both of those shots. Wow. Similar to the Pyro there, nose up, but still had a nice push to it, nice glide before it dumped out of the sky. I mean, that's pretty similar to the Pyro, I'd say. I think a disc like the Nord has kind of been missing from Castoplast's lineup. They have the Yarn, which is definitely more like a four speed, they call it a four and a half speed. It's definitely more like a four speed zone like disc. I use it, I have a, a K1 soft yarn in my bag that I use for upshots and whatnot. Love that disc, absolutely amazing. I will say that I think that this Nord goes a little bit further before it wants to dump out of the sky, like the yarn. So I think this might be kind of what that pyro slot is for cast blast, kind of what, what's been missing in their lineup. And uh, yeah, I think this is a great release. Okay, we're gonna throw these overstable mid ranges on a bit of a flex line this time. Put it out there on some Anheuser and see how it wants to fight out. Buzz OS is up first. Dang, I'm throwing the buzz low. Huh, er, cut that. Throwing the buzz low. I never liked the buzz OS anyway. That's why I've got the pyro in the bag. Let's throw this thing a little better. A little better. More, uh, really it was just kind of flat. Let's, um, let's actually put this Nord on some Anheuser. I'm just not good at throwing Anheusers, guys. You guys know, especially as the second throw of the day. It's not my strong suit. We're gonna really try to put this thing out there though. Sorry about the lawnmower noise as well. Hopefully it's not too bad. A little better. Yeah, nice glide. Still got a little bit of turn out of it. Nice glide on that thing. It's pretty similar to my Pyro though. I wouldn't say it's uh, quite more overstable, even though it's a 0 2 versus 0 3. I say they're about the same. There's not much difference there. One of my favorite things to do with a Pyro is throw it on forehands. I love how skippy it is. It's one of my favorite discs in my bag. So this Nord's got a lot to live up to. We're gonna throw them out there on some forehands and see how they hold up. I threw that really bad. Uh, you guys know how Buzz OS flies. Let's throw the Pyro out there. The old muffin top, you guys know. Come on. It's a little better. Pretty much what you expect. Nice torque resistant. Didn't want to turn over at all. Nice flight. Overstable mid, that's what you expect. Let's see what this Nord does. Yeah, nice torque resistant. Like I said before, I'm pretty sure that this Nord flies really similarly to the Pyro. I would give it more like a zero two. I know Castoplast is trying to get better at having their numbers more accurate, but I'd say they're a little off on this one. Maybe it flies different overseas in Sweden. I'm sure it does. I live here in Florida on sea level. So everything flies a little bit more understable down here. 
So I personally would give it a zero two. I could see somebody saying it's a zero three. All right, everybody, it's gonna wrap it up for this review of the Nord. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not sure if this thing is gonna make my bag. It flies pretty similarly to what I already bag right now in that slot, which is the Pyro. So since they fly really similarly, I guess I'll just have to throw a Zone OS or something in the bag for that really, really overstable slot. I definitely enjoy this disc. I think um, this disc needed to be made in Castaplast lineup. I think they were missing this slot just a little bit. So yeah, if you love throwing Castaplast, make sure you check this thing out. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.